Hello guys, this is Deepika from mytutorialrack.com. In this tutorial, we are going to do an example related to trigger.old. Now trigger.old returns the older version of the S object records and uh, trigger.old is only available for update and the delete triggers. So if you want to know the older version of the records, then you can use this context variable. So first thing is we are going to go back to our developers account and on this opportunity, we will add a custom field. So we're going to go ahead and click on new and uh, we will call this field. It will be a checkbox. So we're going to go ahead and create this checkbox and hit the next button. And the label for this is, is value correct. So that is going to be the field label by default it is unchecked and then hit the next button visible to all the profiles and then hit the save so now what we have done is for this opportunity we have added a new field called is the value correct and we will check this checkbox only if the opportunity or the opportunity stage is changed to closed one. So if it was something else before, and if the new value is closed one, in that case, we will check this checkbox. Otherwise, if the value was all, it was already closed one, we won't check this checkbox. If the updated value is closed one, in that case only, we will update this, we will check this checkbox. So first thing is we are going to create a trigger on the opportunity record. So we're going to go here and we will look for opportunities and we are going to create the trigger here and uh, we can call, name this trigger. So we're going to go ahead and increase the size and we will name this trigger as winning stage trigger which is available on the opportunity and when will this trigger fire before you update a record so not in the case of new insert records in the case of update only so this trigger will be fired before the update operation so first thing is we are going to go ahead and uh, loop over the trigger dot of new so this trigger dot of new will return you the newer version of the record right so it is going to return you the newer version of the record and uh, we also want to get the old version of the records right so we're going to go ahead and use this trigger dot old map dot get opp dot of id and we will store that record the old opportunity the older version we'll call this as old opp so we're going to get the older version of that record using this old map and we will fetch the id of whatever the record that is going to get updated we are passing the id of that record and we are getting the older version of that record and then we are checking if the older version stage is equals to closed one or not and we are checking if the newer version is closed one or not if the older was not closed one but the newer version is closed one then we will check the checkbox so what do i mean is so we can say boolean so we are going to do old opp dot of stage name so there is a field available called stage name dot equals closed one so there is one of in the pick list there is a value called closed one so we are checking if the older version older version stage name was closed one or not so whatever the response is we are storing that response or the result in this variable and similarly old op is the older version opp is the newer version right so we are going to go ahead and uh, fetch the stage name from the newer version and check what is the newer version is it closed one if the newer one is closed one and the older one was not closed one then we will check this checkbox so here this is the newer version and the result we will store this in new 
OPP is one. So we'll store this in this variable. And then we are seeing if the old version was not closed one and the new version is only in that case if the new version is closed one only in that case set the checkbox to true so the, the checkbox that we just created this particular field view field the field that we just created is value correct so we're going to go ahead and set this to true so this is what we're going to do so let me repeat so what we are doing is we have created this trigger it's a before update means anytime you update the record there, there's an existing record and then you're updating it so this is when this trigger will get fired now let's say the opportunity that we are updating the stage name value for that opportunity is, let's say, was one of these. So if I go back here, these are the different uh, options that are available for the stage name. So if you go here, these are the different stage name values. So let's say the older value of that opportunity was prospecting. And then after you make the change you updated the stage name so this is the older version and how we got this value using the old map or we can even say trigger dot old map so we got the older value which is prospect and then the new value we got by trigger dot of new so the lift let's say the new value is closed one then in this case this checkbox will be checked if the old one was closed one and the new is also closed one means you did not update it anything in that case it will not be checked it will remain as it is if the older one was closed one and then you change the stage to prospecting let's say or prospect in that case also this value will not be checked so only if the value gets updated to closed one in that case only this value correct will be checked so now let's go back here and let's go ahead and hit the save one. So this is the trigger which will get fired. So it says variable does not exist. So this is old. So we have created this trigger. Now what will happen is if let's say this trigger will only fire for the update, not for the ex new records. So let's say gen point SLA. So right now it is closed one. So it's the checkbox is unchecked okay so let's pick something else so let's say we pick edge installation this is also closed one okay so in this case the qualification the older version is what qualification right so the stage value is qualification but now if i go ahead and update this to closed one what will happen is this checkbox will be checked. Now, if I go ahead and update, if I go ahead and let's say pull something, let's go ahead and uh, change the existing one is closed one, let's say edge SLA. If the existing one is closed one, and if we change it to is ID decision makers, in that case, this is still going to be unchecked because the trigger will see that the older version was closed one and the new version is not closed one. So this is going to remain as unchecked. But if we go back and now if we change this to closed one and then hit the save button, then it will be checked. So this trigger, what, what is the purpose of this trigger.old? So trigger.old will give you the older version of the record, which was before we did the new update. And the trigger.new will give you the new version of the record, which is yet to be saved to the database. So that is the purpose of the trigger.old and the trigger.new.